everyone! Welcome to my channel! In this video, we will take up the introduction to writing across the disciplines. How do we characterize good writing? We consider a well-written text when it is free of errors in grammar and punctuation, when it clearly conveys the purpose of writing, when it develops thoughts and arguments clearly, when it conforms to writing conventions of its discipline, and when it is at par with the level of formality required. In this lesson, you will be provided with an overview of the writing genres that you will most likely encounter in three academic disciplines, namely the sciences, business, and humanities. Aside from identifying the writing task as course requirements when you pursue a degree later, there is also a need for us to know the methods to acknowledge sources properly to avoid committing plagiarism. We will include in our discussion the American Psychological Association and Modern Language Association Citation Guides. We shall now start with Writing in the Sciences. People in the science field also often have the right scientific texts such as research papers, case study, laboratory report, and field report. Writing scientific papers When writing scientific papers, remember the acronym. Objectivity Impartiality or fairness must be observed in writing any scientific text. Jargon Because jargons are terms that are technical, uncommon, or unfamiliar to the audience, scientific papers will require you to define terms in the text. Hypothesis is an idea or a theory that is not proven yet. In scientific writing, it must be supported by concrete evidence or experiments to test its viability and efficiency. Research is the scientific investigation and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. Painstaking research is essential in writing scientific papers. Common Types of Scientific Texts you now have a good idea of what constitutes good scientific text. Now let us look at commonly used types of scientific text. Case study. This is a careful and intensive study of a specific subject or variable in which scientists or researchers identify what leads to its success or failure. Laboratory report is a formal documentation of an experiment which includes the objectives, methods, and results. Field Report This writing aims to analyze behavior patterns manifested by the subject based on specific theories. Writing in Business This will assist you when you wish to apply for a job or when you would like to perform well in the workplace. The purposes of business writing are to incite action and to elicit responses. Characteristics of business writing It has a strict format. By being knowledgeable of the appropriate format to use, you can demonstrate your professionalism. It is objective. In business writing, you may use any point of view. First second or third when appropriate. It is formal. Business text must use formal language. It must be clear and concise. Common writings in business include Memorandum. This is commonly referred to as memo. It is a form of written communication in a corporate setting. Resume. This is a short document that shows a person's educational and professional background. Letter of Request 
This letter aims to convince the person in authority or in charge to grant permission for an action to be done or accomplished. Writing in the Humanities Humanities is a collective term for the arts, languages, and philosophies. It also involves literature, music, film, and history. Humanities texts are written with the following objectives. To meditate objects of human culture for its audience, and to convince or persuade. The following are the characteristics of a humanities-related text. It contains topics or claims that are debatable. It may cause counter-arguments. It uses abstract nouns and less specific word choice. It may have both denotations and connotations. It uses first-person and or third-person pronouns. Here are some common writings in the humanities. Critique. This concerns a writer's opinion of the quality of any piece of writing or work of art, and usually written by experts. Review. Reviews may assess a particular work such as a movie, a book, or music. The American Psychological Association, or APA, and the Modern Language Association or MLA Citation Guides. In writing, you must always remember to be a responsible writer. Give credit to the writers through proper citation. Citation is quoting a passage, book, or author as evidence for a justification of an argument or a statement. Citation guides refer to carefully crafted formats that are used to acknowledge sources of information. In-text citations. These are also known as parenthetical citations. Keep in mind that the source of information provided in an in-text citation should correspond to the reference list. Reference list. This is usually found at the last section of a published material. It is where the sources of information are completely cited. The American Psychological Association, or APA, is commonly used in social sciences, while Modern Language Association, or MLA, is commonly used in humanities. The APA, MLA, and other formats you might encounter will typically contain the following elements. Author's name title of work, year of publication, page number, and volume or issue number or edition. And that's all for today's session guys. Enjoy learning and writing. For today's words of wisdom, believe passionately in what you do and never knowingly compromise your standards and values. Word of the day. Exhort, which means to urge strongly. Used in the sentence, they exhort the voters to do the right thing. This is Teacher Anne saying, never stop learning.